Having messy data is one of the biggest challenges when it comes to working with Microsoft Power BI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Power Query in Power BI to transform your data from messy to clean. Hey, it's Brandon Michaels, and in this channel, I'll help you build your skills to grow your business. Data comes in all shapes and sizes, and a lot of the times it can be pretty messy. Fortunately, Power BI gives us Power Query. Power Query is a tool built into Power BI that allows us to transform our data quickly and easily. Let's take a look at what Power Query can do. I've included a link in the description below so you can download the data and work along with this video. Here we have an Excel workbook with two spreadsheets. First, we have our expenses worksheet, and this shows us a year's worth of business expenses. Our other sheet shows us the business income. Imagine you're a freelancer. This is a typical homegrown spreadsheet you might create. It's a handy way to keep track of income and expenses, and it's also a great thing to have come tax time. However, when we take a closer look at this data, there are some things we're going to need to clean up before we can use this data in Power BI. First of all, back in our expenses sheet, we'll see that this data is separated into different months, and within each month there are subtotals, and at the very bottom we have grand totals. Dividing up the data this way is typical of a homemade spreadsheet. However, Power BI just wants the data. So before we can use this data in Power BI, we're going to need to clean it up a little. Taking a look at the income spreadsheet, we have all the dates in a clean format. But when we look at our income amounts, these are separated into different categories, and each category is in its own column. To use this data, Power BI is going to need all of those amounts in a single column. So over here, I have Power BI already open, and since we have data in an Excel file, we're going to use a shortcut right here on the main screen. Click that, we're going to find our file, and then open it. In this window, Power BI is showing us the contents of our Excel file. We see our two worksheets, Expenses and Income. Click the checkbox next to each one, then click the Transform Data button at the bottom. Power BI opens a new window. In this window is the Power Query Editor. This is where we're going to do all of our work to transform and edit our data to clean it up so we can bring it into Power BI and create our report. Along the top, we see all the different tools that Power BI gives us to transform our data. On the left-hand side are the two tables of data. We have our income data and we have our expenses data. If we go all the way over to the right-hand side, Power Query keeps track of all the transformations we make. And what we're seeing here is that Power Query has already made a few changes for us, saving us some work. Each one of these steps are in chronological order. And if you click on the step, you can actually go back in time to see what was occurring at that step. If we look at this original step, we'll see here in the formula bar, the code that's applied at each step. What Power Query is doing is getting the file, specifically getting the contents of that file, and then in the next step, if we click on Navigation, Power Query is looking at the sheet called Expenses and pulling in the data. And then in our next step, Promoted Headers, this is where Power Query takes that first row here and pushes those up to make those into the column headers. So you can see now that we have our proper column headers. And the last step, what Power Query is trying to do is make its best guess as to the data type for each of these columns. So if we go back and look at our free rate, on the left side of the column header is the data type. And if we click that, we'll see all the different data types. So if we go to the last step, we can see that Power Query was able to identify that as a decimal number. And that's correct because a fee should be a decimal number. So just by walking through these steps, we can see how much Power Query already did for us we're going to be able to make similar changes. And the best part is we don't have to write any code. We're going to use the tools that Power Query gives us. One important thing to keep in mind is that none of the changes Power Query makes affect our original Excel file. Power BI copies the data into memory, and Power Query works with a copy of the data, so you don't have to worry about anything happening to your original data. Let's start all the way over on the left-hand side with our date column. Here we want to get rid of anything that's not a date. To do that, click the filter button on the right side of the column header, and then we'll just unselect all the rows that we don't want. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, and all of the month names, because they're not dates, we're going to unselect those, and then click OK. Looks like I got most of everything, but I still missed the null rows. So we can just go back, click the filter button again, and just unselect null, and then click OK. Now we can see that that column contains only dates. For our vendor column, what I notice here is that the only thing not capitalized is subcontractor, and I like to make that consistent. So we'll right click on the column header then choose transform. And then we have a bunch of options here. And the one we want is capitalize each word. And now as you can see, subcontractor is capitalized. In our description column, none of these are proper nouns like we had in the vendor column. So I'm gonna do the opposite here and I'm gonna make everything lowercase. Right click on the description header, 
go to transform, and then choose lowercase. Now everything is in lowercase. Our amount column looks good, so we can move over to our payment method column. And here, because in our report, we're going to want to be able to filter based on the payment method type, we'd like all the credit cards to be seen as one payment method. So we want to get rid of the last four digits of the credit card. And the way we're going to do that, again, right click on the column header. This time we're going to choose split column. And we have a bunch of options here. In our case, we have words followed by numbers. And that's going to be the last option by non-digit to digit. And when we click that, Power Query separates out the last four digits into its own column, leaving our original column with just the words credit card. That's perfect. While we're here, we're going to rename this column back to just payment method. So double click on the header. Just edit that to read payment method. Now let's scroll all the way over to the right to see all the rest of our data. The last two columns, fees and cash back, were calculations coming from the Excel spreadsheet. For Power BI, we only want to load in raw data. So we need to get rid of these two columns. And while we're at it, we're going to get rid of this payment method column that just contains the last four digits of the credit card. The way we do that is we go up to choose columns. And here we'll just unselect the columns that we don't want. And click OK. We can see that we've eliminated the columns that we didn't want, but I accidentally also eliminated some columns that I did want to keep. So what do we do now? Well, over in the applied steps, when you hover over a step, you'll see an X to the left. Clicking the X will delete the step. And you'll go back to the state that was in the previous step. Now, some of these steps, you'll see a gear icon over to the right. And if we click that, that allows us to redo the step. So here, I'm going to restore fee rate and cash back rate. And then click OK. Now we see that those columns have been restored. That's a really great feature of Power BI that we can always go back in time if we need to. Either undo a step and do it over, or wherever there's a gear icon, we can just click on that and change the step. This data is looking good. Let's go over to Income. By the way, don't forget to change the data type on the date column to date. Over on our income data, here we just have generic column names. We still need to push these actual column headers up. So to do that, we're going to use this tool called Use First Row as Headers. And instantly we see that the column headers are now where they should be. This table also has some columns we don't need, so we're going to remove those. First, let's scroll over to the right. We're not going to need this total payment because, again, these were calculations in the Excel spreadsheet, and we just want to bring in the raw data. So we'll get rid of total payment. We have a blank column here in column 10. We also have a blank column in column 4. So again, click Choose Columns, uncheck Total Payment, column 10, column 4, and then click OK. Now this data is really messy because of the way it's set up. We have the amount for each payment, but the amounts are spread across five different columns instead of being in a single column. Fixing this data looks like a lot of work, but actually it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. All we need to do is click the first column, hold down shift, then click the last column to select all of the columns. Now we're going to go to the transform tab and use this function called unpivot columns. We click on that, we see that Power Query transposed and collapsed all of these into two columns. That's exactly what we need. Unpivot is definitely one of my favorite tools in Power Query. Now we have the amount and the category that that amount falls under. All we need to do is rename these columns. So double click, type category, and we'll do the same for the final column and call it amount. Now that we have our income and expenses data all cleaned up, we need a way to connect these two tables together. The way to connect tables together is by using a common field. In this case, both of our tables do have a date field in common. However, they don't necessarily both have the same dates in each table. So what we need to do is to create a date table. And we can do that right here in Power Query. To do that, click on Home, click on New Source. We're going to choose Blank Query. And here our blank query shows up on the left. Next, we need to click on Advanced Editor. Actually writing the code to create the date table is beyond the scope of this video, but I have the code already and I'm just going to copy and paste it in. So we'll go grab our code. Now we're going to select all of this and paste the code in. I've included a link to this code in the description below so you can download it also. Now we just need to click Done. And this is our date table. This is what's going to allow us to link our income and expenses. So for example, we could show a chart showing income versus expenses. Let's rename this. So double click on query one. Let's rename it to dates and click enter. Now we're ready to load our data. Go to the upper left and click on close and apply. And here Power BI is loading our data. Before we can start creating charts with our data, there are two important things we need to do. Click on the date table. And then under table tools, We'll click this button, Mark as Date Table. Then in the window that pops up under Date Column, we'll choose Date. Then click OK. 
And one final step, we need to connect our data. To do that, we'll go to the Model tab, and here we have our three different tables. What we need to do is connect our tables through the Date table. Click on Date, and drag that to the Date on the Expenses, and that establishes that relationship, and then click on Date again, and drag it to the Income. With our data model in place, we're ready to start creating our visualizations. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to take this data that we've transformed using Power Query and build out a complete business financials dashboard. If you like this video, hit the like button and click subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.